In this session, we'll be looking at substitution ciphers. So what are these substitution ciphers? It's a technique wherein we take the plain text. Say, for instance, if the message, the plain text message is Satish, we'll be substituting a character with another symbol. Say, for instance, I can encrypt S as G, A as uh, U, something like that. So every character in the plain text will be replaced by another character or a group of characters can be replaced by another group of characters or symbols. So if you're going to replace every character with another character, it is called mono alphabet substitution. Because we are taking every single alphabet, substituting it with another character. So we're going to look at uh, two mono alphabet substitutions that is Caesar cipher and what is this multiplicative cipher. Let's take a look at Caesar cipher first. This is the earliest known uh, cipher and it was used by Julius Caesar. It's a very simple technique. The Caesar cipher involves replacing each letter of the alphabet with a letter standing three places further down the alphabet. So, say if your plain text contains the alphabet A, how we are going to encrypt it? We are going to go three characters down. So it's one, two, three, and we are going to substitute A as T. If your plain text contains, say, any character like F, then how you encrypt that is you go three characters that occurs after F, say one, two, three, further down. So here we have I. So we are going to encrypt F as I. So it's just a simple substitution of F with this cipher text. So that's how you encrypt a plain text using Caesar cipher. So let's take an example. Let's take a message that is S A T I S H. If I want to encrypt this, how I can encrypt? So the plain text is S and what is occurring three characters down so it is one two three so it's v so i'll encrypt s as v how will i en encrypt a a is nothing but d and uh, what is t t is nothing but where is t t is nothing but w and i i is nothing but l and s will again be v what is h h is nothing but k so we take every character and then we substitute that with another character. Let us take a mathematical definition of this. Let us assign a numerical equivalent to each and every letter in the English language. So starting from A, we'll start with zero. Like that, we'll increment every number. So we'll have 25 numbers when we start from zero in the English language. So for each alphabet, we are assigning a number here. That is it. Now let us take a look at the mathematical notation for Caesar cipher encryption. It is nothing but P plus K mod 26. This P is the value that we have assigned to every alphabet. Say if I'm going to encrypt B, what is the value? That is one. And what is this key? Key is nothing but the number of positions we are going to shift further down. Now, if I say K is equal to three, and if I'm going to encrypt B, it's going to be nothing but I'm going to move three positions down. So C, D and E. So instead of B, I'm going to substitute E. So the value of K will be three. So number of ships will be the value of K. Here K is three. And we will mod with the number of alphabets. The number of alphabets is 26. So let's take an example. Let's encrypt Satish again using this notation. And uh, let's see, let's take S. Yes. What is the value of S? Yes? What is the value of S? It's 18. So it's nothing but 18 plus the key is 3 mod 26. What is 8, 18 plus 3? It is 21 mod 26. That is nothing but 21. So for S, yes, we are going to encrypt a value that is uh, 21. But what is 21 from our table? 21 actually ref refers to V. So S will be encrypted as V. That is the meaning. 
can you now try for a a what is the position in the table a is 0 so it's nothing but you add the key 3 and then you perform mod 26 so it's 0 plus 3 mod 26 is nothing but 3 so a will be encrypted as what is the letter occurring in position 3 d Now let's take a look at t. So what is the value of t in the table? t is nothing but 19. So it's 19 plus what is the key? 3 mod 26. 19 plus 3 is 22 mod 26. What is 22 mod 26? It's nothing but 22. What is the value of uh, what is the alphabet occurring at uh, the location 22? It's w. So the plain text T will be substituted by the cipher text W. Likewise, let's take I. Let's repeat the process. The value of uh, I in the table is 8 plus 3 mod 26, that is 11. What is 11 in the table corresponding to? 11 is nothing but I. 11 is nothing but L. I am sorry. Again for S, S will be the same, 18 plus 3 mod 26, so it's going to be the same, that will be 21, nothing but V. So we encrypt S A T I S H, so how will you encrypt H? H will be 7, it's 7 plus 3 mod 26, that is 10 mod 26, that is nothing but 10. And uh, what is uh, 10 in the table? 10 is K. So we'll encrypt SATISH as V, D, W, I, V, K. So now let us take a look at decryption. What is decryption? How we can attain that? So what is the ciphertext we arrived at in our previous slide? It is V, D, W, L, V, K. So what is the decryption for V? You have to first take the value for V. What is the value for V? It's 21. 21 minus 3 mod 26. That is nothing but 18 mod 26. That is 18. So what is the value of 18 in the table? 18 is corresponding to S. So you get the plain text. So this is the plain text. Likewise, you can try for D. What is the value of D? It is 3 mod it's actually 3 minus 3 mod 26. That is nothing but 0. What is the value in 0? A. So you're going to get A. So like that you decrypt. You carry on with the decryption process. You're going to get the plain text SATISH. So in Caesar cipher, what we are doing is we are taking the value of the uh, alphabet in the table and we are adding that with the key. Now we'll move on to the next kind of cipher, the multiplicative cipher. There's a very small difference between Caesar cipher and multiplicative cipher. In Caesar cipher, we are taking the value of the uh, alphabet in the table and then we were adding that with the key. Whereas in multiplicative cipher, as the name suggests, instead of adding, we'll be multiplying that with the key. So this becomes a multiplicative cipher and we'll also be performing a mod 26 here. 26 represents number of alphabets in the table. So in Caesar cipher, we are performing P plus K mod 26. In multiplicative cipher, we'll be just multiplying P into K mod 26. This is for encryption. So as usual, as in the Caesar cipher, we'll take every alphabet and we'll assign a number starting from 0 and we'll increment the number. So we'll start from A and we'll go to Z. So the numbers start from 0 and we attain 25. Let's move on to step 1. The very first step is we need to choose a key. And that key should be between 1 and 26. So here we are selecting a, the key as 9. and uh, my advice to you is select a key such that the GCD, the GCD of the key that you have selected with 26 should be 1. 
say GCD of 9 and 26 should be 1. And you'll be understanding why it is necessary to have the GCD as 1 when we go in for decryption. For now, let's say that we have chosen the key as 9, which is between 1 and 26. The next step is we should encrypt a message. So we'll choose a message. As usual, I'm taking my name, Satish, for encryption. And uh, what we are going to do here is each character in this message is multiplied with the key. So we have already selected the key as 9. As in multiplicative cipher, we are just going to take every character, multiply with the key and perform mod 26. So we will go and perform that. First we will take S. S into key mod 26. So what is the value of S? You have to get it from the table. The table is here. S is nothing but 18. 18 star 9 mod 26. The result is 6. The remainder is 6. So like that you have to go with every character in the message. So now let's take A. A star key that is A star 9 mod 26. What is the value of A in the table? 0. So 0 star 9 is 0 mod 26 will be 0. Got it? Like that let's go with T. T star 9 is 19. What is the value of t? It is 19 star 9 mod 26, that is 15. Likewise, i star 9 is 8 star 9 mod 26, the remainder is 20. S again will be 18 star 9 mod 26, the remainder is 6. H star 9, what is H? E, no, H is 7. So 63 mod 26, that is the remainder is 11. And uh, we have taken every single character and we have multiplied that with the key we have taken a mod 26 we have got all the reminders now we'll go and find the corresponding alphabets for all these values so what is there in 6 6 we have a g what is there in 0 we have a a what is there in 15 corresponding to 15 we have a p what is there in 20 we have a u in 6 again we have a g and for 11 we have an l so finally our cipher text is achieved using multiplicative cipher so this is the cipher text g a p u g l and this cipher text was achieved when the key we, we have chosen the key to be 9 so we have finished encryption the next step is decryption how will you decrypt so you know this is the cipher text for decryption you have to take every character in your cipher text and we have to multiply that with the inverse so this is the multiplicative inverse here how is that we are going to determine the multiplicative inverse we have already seen how we can do that using the extended euclidean algorithm i have given the link for the video so you should be knowing how to find multiplicative inverse by using the extended euclidean algorithm anyway we will go and uh, carry out the multiplicative inverse here. We'll find out what is k inverse. So we'll go step by step. Uh, let me go to this screen. Let me write here. So to find multiplicative inverse or this uh, k inverse, the first step is we should find GCD of the key comma 26. And only when the GCD is equal to one, we can say there exists an inverse. So that's why I told you in the initial slides that when you are selecting the key, see to that the key comma 26 should have a GCD of 1. So now let's check whether our GCD is equal to 1 here. So how you can represent 26 as it is nothing but we'll use the division algorithm 26 is equal to 9 into 2 18 plus 8. That is the reminder. And now we'll push 9 here. So 9 is equal to, we'll push 8 here, 8 into 1 plus the remainder is 1. So we have attained the GCD to be 1. So this says we have a multiplicative inverse here. So we will use the extended Euclidean algorithm to find the multiplicative inverse. How can you write 1? 1 is equal to 9 minus 1 into 8. So you're going to push this this side. So it's nothing but 9 minus 1 star 8. And now we'll see what is 8. 8 from this equation is 8 is equal to 
26 minus 2 into 9. So this is how you get 8. How you get 8? You just push this term this side that is 26 minus 2 into 9. So now we know 8 is this. We will go and substitute it here. So it is 1 is equal to 9 minus 1 into what is 8? That is 26 minus 2 into 9. So we have already discussed this in our previous uh, sessions. So this should be very easy for you. So now we will go and reduce this. There is a 9 here and 2 into 9 here with the minus out. So it's actually 3 times 9. 3 into 9 plus minus 1 into 26. So this is actually 1 is equal to 3 times 9 plus minus 1 times 26. So the multiplicative inverse here is 3. So what is k inverse? k inverse we have found that to be 3. Okay, let's work out. Let's decrypt the encrypted text here. So do you all remember what is that encrypted text we have received? It is G A P U G L. This is the encrypted text. And what was the plain text? The plain text was Satish. So we use multiplicative cipher and the key to be 9 to encrypt it like this. Now we will decrypt it for this or k inverse. We found that out using extended Euclidean as 3. So we will take every character in the cipher text that is g and then we will multiply that with k inverse mod 26. We are going to do this for every character here. So this is nothing but what is g in our table. So we have the table here g is 6. So 6 star what is k inverse 3 mod 26. So this is nothing but 18 mod 26 that is 18. So what is 18 in the table? If you go to 18 and uh, find the corresponding text, yes. So this is your plain text. So that's how you decrypt. Let's take the next cipher text A. Can we decrypt it? K inverse is 3. So 3 mod 26. What is the value of A in the table? That is 0 into 3 mod 26. So that is nothing but 0. What is the value of 0 here? So it leads us to A. That is our next character in the plain text. Likewise P. What is P? P is 15. So 15 into 3 is 45 mod 26. The reminder here is 19. What is 19 in the table? That is T. Likewise you can go with U. What is U? That is 20 into 3 mod 26. 60 mod 26. What is 60 mod 26? The reminder is 8. So when you know what is 8 from the table, it is I. Again, it's G. G is nothing but 18. We have already computed that. 18 is nothing but S. The next letter we have to decrypt is L. What is the L corresponding to? L is corresponding to 11. So 11 into 3 mod 26. That is nothing but 33 mod 26. Reminder is 7. What is the reminder? What is 7 in our table? That is H. So the plain text is H. Finally, we have arrived at our plain text from the cipher text that is Satish. So that's how you can use multiplicative cipher to encrypt and decrypt messages. I hope you all have understood what is Caesar cipher and what is multiplicative cipher and how these two ciphers are different.